Hi guys, this is Stephanie and welcome to my channel. These Chinese people will be celebrating Lava Festival. So in today's video, we are going to talk about what is Lava Festival and what do Chinese people do on this day? Now, let's take a look at this festival in Chinese. We call it as La Ba Jie. So I'm sure by now you're familiar with the word Jie, which means festival. So what's the meaning of La Ba? Now, traditionally, December, we also call it as La Yue. So Yue means month. So it just means La month. Now, La Ba Ba means eight. So La Ba means and this day falls on the eighth day of December on lunar calendar. And therefore, per counting this year, 2022, it falls on the January 10th. And there you go. Lava Festival is just around the corner. And why it is so important? Because it actually marks the beginning of the Chinese New Year. Chinese people will start working on their and preparing their spring festival starting on this day. We also have a saying, 小孩小孩你别馋,过腊八就是年. That is to say, the kiddos, you have to be patient with the good foods ahead of you because after Lava Festival, Chinese New Year is just around the corner. And that's why it is so important. So how do Chinese people celebrate La Ba Jie? Traditionally and contemporarily, Chinese people observe this day by having a bowl of warm La Ba Zhou. It's La Ba Kangji. In a nutshell, it's a hodgepodge of greens, beans, and dried fruits. And usually we have eight basic ingredients. See if you like any of them. We have nuomi, glutinous rice, nuomi, xiaomi, millet, xiaomi, hongdou, red beans, hongdou, gaoliang, Chinese sorghum, gaoliang, huasheng, peanuts, huasheng, xingren, almonds, xingren, Lianzi, dried lotus seeds, Lianzi, and Hongzao, dried dates, Hongzao. So these are the eight basic ingredients, but is that all? Of course not. Basically, you can add any ingredients in it that you think that would complement the congee to make it more flavorful. Besides Laba Kanji, we also have Laba Garlic. Essentially, it's the pickled garlic. What you do is you put the garlic in a jar and you put vinegar on it. So, because Suan, garlic in Chinese, has the same pronunciation with the word calculation, Suan. So, having Laba Garlic on this day symbolizes the idea of calculating your income of the entire past year. And that symbolizes the prosperity for the new year. So, in some regions, they also have Laba Suan which is quite interesting. These are the two prime foods that Chinese people are quite enjoying during La Ba Jie. If you were living in Beijing, which is the capital city of China, you will notice another interesting phenomenon. Every year, Yonghegong Laman Temple will offer free La Ba Kanji to the public to celebrate this day. So you will see a lot of people would get up super early to queue outside the Lama Temple just to get to share the La Ba Zhou that they offered in the hope of prosperity and wealth. So those are the things that we commonly do during La Ba Jie. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you next time. La Ba Jie everybody. Bye.